hello everyone in this video i am going to explain you about how to determine the force required to pull it and push a an wooden block rest on a horizontal plane so here a wooden block rests on a horizontal plane to determine the force required to pull it and push it so here we are assuming the mass as m of the block to be 5 kg and the coefficient of friction mu equal to 0.4 so here so this is the wooden block which is rest on the horizontal plane and the mass m and g is the gravitational force which is acting downwards due to gravity and the force required to pull that is r1 we have to find and the angle is 15 degrees from this axis so now we have to find r1 because to determine the force required to pull it so this is first condition and push it that is second condition so first we are finding pull it so first we have to draw the free body diagram for this wooden block so here free body diagram looks like this wooden block which is resting on horizontal floor acting downward mass 5 kg and gravitational force if the block is acting downward that means the opposite reaction is also be there that is normal reaction and next if r1 is the force which is pulling force if we apply the force in this direction automatically this block moves in this direction then opposite friction will be there that is mu into n so here this is 15 degrees angle so this is the free body diagram so in this case first we have to find equilibrium equations that is sigma fx equal to 0 so we know that sigma fx means summation of all forces in x direction so in this diagram the x direction forces are mu into n is the x direction force but this is opposite side that's why i'm writing as negative and next one is here r1 is inclined force but here we are resolving this r1 into x axis so this is the axis so here theta is this one for this theta this is adjacent side this is opposite side and this is hypotenuse so here unknown is adjacent because we are resolving this r1 force to this direction so this is the unknown but the force is positive side plus r1 here we know this is unknown we know the formula cos theta equal to adjacent side by hypotenuse so we know that hypotenuse is r1 cos theta adjacent side this is unknown so if we move this hypotenuse to this side it becomes multiplied hypotenuse into cos theta that is r1 into cos theta that is 15 degrees i am considering this equation as 1 okay so this is the first equilibrium equation and next summation of all forces in y direction sigma f y equal to 0 now the y forces are so this is the y direction force that is upward direction n normal reaction n positive and minus m into g so this is also this is also y direction force which is downward m into g and next same here i am resolving this force in y direction here the axis is y axis now i am resolving the same force in y direction so while resolving the same force in y direction here this is upward force upward is positive in y direction r1 sin 15 degrees equal to 0 this is second equation we know that here if we resolve this r1 to this side this becomes 
opposite side so this is the unknown so we have to find out this unknown sin theta equal to we know the formula sin theta equal to opposite side by hypotenuse so hypotenuse is r1 this is unknown so r1 into sin theta is sin 15 so like that we resolve the force okay so i am considering these one and two equations now i am writing these two equations separately first equation is minus mu into n plus r1 cos 15 degrees equal to 0 this is first equation next plus n minus mg plus r1 sin 15 this is second equation so we have to find the unknown is r1 so i am writing this second equation as n equal to m into g so here it is left hand side it is negative when it moves to right hand side it becomes positive same like minus r1 sin 15 so this is first one and this is second one and this is third one so this n value i am going to substitute this equation in the first equation we know that n value is mg minus r1 sin 15 so here i am writing this equation r1 cos 15 minus we know the mu value that is coefficient of friction which is given in question 0.4 so 0.4 into this n value i am substituting in this equation m value mass of the block that is 5 so g value gravitational force you can take it as 10 i am taking it as 9.81 minus r1 sin 15 sin 15 value is 0 0.259 that equal to 0 and here i am writing cos 15 value also so cos 15 value is 0 0.966 so like that i wrote the entire equation now i'm going to solve this equation so here r1 0 0.966 i'm multiplying this 0 0.4 into 5 into 9.81 that is 19.62 so here minus into minus that is plus 0 0.1036 R1 that is 0 0.4 into this value 0 0.1036 into R1 that equal to 0 next I am adding this 0 0.966 plus 0 0.1036 R1 that is R1 1.0696 and this is I mean subtracting value when it moves to right hand side it becomes positive 19.62 so r1 equal to here it is multiplying when it moves to right hand side it becomes divided 1.696 so r1 equal to 18.34 newtons so this is the r1 value to pull this wooden block which is in rest condition so like that we solve this r1 value the second condition is pushing force so same we have to solve the second condition that is pushing force for example the same block here it is pushing force that is r2 i am considering this as r2 and the same the theta value is 15 degrees again i am considering the free body diagram 
we know that free body diagram is block the horizontal surface downward direction which is a acting downward normal reaction so when the force is pushing this direction so this block moves this direction so when this block moves in this direction automatically the force opposite friction force act in this direction okay and this is normal reaction the theta is 15 degrees and this is r2 x axis same here also we are going to find sigma fx and sigma fy value so first time considering sigma fx summation of all forces in x direction so here this is x axis force but in the previous case this is opposite direction because we are pulling the block in the previous condition now it is pushing so the direction changed now it is positive this is positive in x direction mu n minus here it is r2 which is pushing so when it is pushing this becomes negative why because for example i am considering this as axis i will show you clearly so if this is axis if we are pushing the force so we are drawing this force like this and now we are resolving this r2 in this direction so now x axis this is opposite that's why i am considering this as negative and here theta here theta is 15 degrees automatically opposite 15 degrees so 15 so here theta is i mean for this theta this is adjacent side so we have to find the adjacent side that is cos theta equal to adjacent side by hypotenuse so r2 cos 15 degrees equal to 0 so this is first equation okay next same like second equation that is sigma fy equal to 0 so here y previously we find x axis summation of all forces in x axis and summation of all forces in y axis same here the y direction that is n is positive because upward direction minus m into g that is m is 5 into 9.81 gravitational force m is mass of the block that is 5 kg which is given in question this is downward direction that's why i wrote at minus next the same here r2 now i am resolving this r2 like this again i am considering the axis so this is the r2 so if we resolve this force r2 this side now this is the downward that's that's why i am considering this as minus and r2 sin 15 degrees that equal to 0 this is second equation now we have to solve these two equations to find the r2 value which is which is used to uh, push the block we have to determine the r2 force so i am writing this equation separately now So here first equation is 0.4 n in, into minus 9 double 6 r2 that equal to 0 this is number one equation and n minus 5 into 9.81 that is 5 into g m into g minus 0.259 r2 that equal to 0 this is equation 2 now same like in the previous uh, case i am writing this equation n equal to 
5 into 9.81 here it is negative when it moves to right hand side it becomes positive same here it is negative when it becomes right hand side it becomes positive R2. so this is equation 3 now I am substituting this n value in this equation 1 so 0.4 into 5 into 9.1 plus 0.259 R2 minus 0.966 R2 equal to 0. So I substituted this n value in this equation. Now I am going to solve this equation. So after multiplying this 0 0.4 into 5 into 9.81 I got 19.62 total equation I got as 19 point sorry so 0 0.4 into 5 into 9.81 plus 0.259 R2 minus 0 0.966 R2 equal to 0 by multiplying this 0 0.4 into 5 into 9.81 I got 19.62 minus 0 0.8624 R2 equal to 0 so I calculated this entire equation I got this value so here this is minus so I am moving this minus value to the right hand side that is 19.62 equal to 0.8624 R2 so here we have to find the R2 value here it is multiplying when it moves to this side it becomes divided by R2 equal to 19.62 by 0.8264 that equal to 22.75 newtons so this is the R2 value which is used to push this resting wooden block i hope you understood this thank you so much thanks for watching